Yo, YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Rolling 18. I got my new trailer today. This is it. All this pulls over that way, you guys see that. But uh it's 48 by 102 by 30. I don't know what the 30 is. I get I'm guessing these bows are the 30 because I know they make a 30 and a 36 with these bows. So yeah, that could be the only thing that that is. Uh, little panels are marked on here starting from the back. You got one back there and 12 up here. Uh, I'm going to go through and redo these because you see they have it like right and left. Like, I kind of don't like that. Might rather be passenger side or driver side, you know, because I'm facing the rear of the trailer and yeah, that's to my right. But let's say I'm standing in the back, put my boards on. Well, well, now this is my left. Just a little stuff like that. But anyway, this is what I was on this trailer. You see everything looks brand spanking new because you got this right here. You see my old dirty chains in the back. I only took the three and the six binders that I always use and the two pieces of board and the six racks because I love those racks and I'll explain why in a second. But this trailer is coming with these three, uh, six binders and uh, I counted out earlier, it's like eight chains. A bunch of edge protectors, I have enough of those but I'll put them in this box. There's a bunch of uh, metal edge protectors. I'm going to grab mine out of my side box and keep them in here. Just like this. Uh, a bunch of the J-hooks. Coil mats. Racks. I didn't even see these uh, racks earlier. But anyway, this is what I'm most excited about. This bad boy right here goes in front of the coil. And this is solid as heck. This thing ain't letting that coil go nowhere. You chain it down. I'm good to go. I'm going to push it back some. I don't know why the guy had it so far forward. I always look for my uh, turn signal as being uh, where I'll place a single coil. If I'm getting two coils, the rear of my front coil will be directly in front of this. This little pocket right here. And the eye of my back coil will be somewhere about there where my finger is. So this is my old trailer right there but anyway these racks right here these racks they're not bad uh, I don't mind them for the big coils I like one let me get today I'm gonna get two 20,000 pound coils these should be good because you all should know by now that your coil can't be touching the floor of the trailer and uh, sometimes you might have to either put two pieces of wood buttered up together on one side and just a single one on one side or you can get the racks like I have and I love these things they're strong as heck just look at them they just look way stronger than that those are all bent up I'm probably not even going to use those to be honest but these things are heavy duty so that's why I brought them because you can put your uh, front board here for a small coil and your back board here for a small coil and it'd be perfect you don't got to get no extra lumber because extra lumber equals more weight. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Yo, I just wanted to, to show you all this trailer. I'm about to get it all set up and everything. I'm uh, just thinking of some ideas on where to put my stuff at because I know I don't want to walk to the front all the time. I'm thinking about hooking some of my binders here. Like, bam, bam, so that way they're right there I don't have to move to get them <laughs> I'm lazy that's why I wanted this trailer so I can continue to be just a little lazy but look at the chains man them chains are clean but alright y'all I'm about to go I'm gonna make a review of this company earlier cause I've been here for like three months now basically so I gotta make my three month review alright y'all stay uh stay tuned and stay safe as always, if you want to pull some doubles, you can come over here and pull some doubles. You can put a lot of weight on that right there. A whole lot of it.